Alrighty, back at it. So, since the um, flaming great failure, I have got new connectors, made sure that the polarity is right. I have done this before, so this isn't going to be a surprise. And I'm not going to do an electro boom faked one. So that's now in. Battery is on. Who's got my meter? I've got my meter. Current meter. It doesn't want to sit nicely. That's better than it was, I suppose. Set to DC. So, current meter connected switch. Green light. Throttle. Looking good. And current. about 20 amps on full throttle no load and then full throttle from stop somewhere around 40 or 50 amps so let's turn that off let's turn this around and go woohoo didn't kill the controller Got me an electric outboard, and that's about it, I think. Yeah, so it survived. I survived. The connectors didn't. There's still the spark marks, the smoke marks from where the connectors died. But hey, we might be motoring soon. Ah, and um, one other thing I was going to put on, I had this prepared for the previous video, was to explain why, despite the... Um, Outboard haven't been around for so long. It's taken so long for me to get on with making it happen, you know? Um, and I actually had an MRI the other day and the, the doctors have explained, shown me what's going on in my brain and the decision-making process. So here it is. So it's two ideas competing, I think. Oh dear, one's lost it. Oh, they've both gone. And that's why nothing ever happens. Anyhow, give full credit for that video. That would be um, normie twice removed. Thank you. Sorry for the dumb detour. Hope you liked it. It's not as much fun as my previous video with actual sparks and fire. You can go and look for that. See ya.